We've uncovered ancient candy lipstick and now we just have to eat it. Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer. Before we dig into a fresh yet also somehow expired batch of discontinued snacks, We've got an announcement to make. You ready? Yes. You ready? Yes. Everybody ready? Yeah. Next Thursday, September 2nd, in the year 2021, we are going to be coming to you live with an all day live stream extravaganza. That's right, we're doing it again. The second annual GMM all day live stream. We're putting together eight hours of music, special guests, classic GMM games, and who knows what else we're gonna do. Well, we do know what we're gonna do, but you don't. Kinda. So why don't you watch? <laughs> to see what happens. It's all to benefit an incredible charity, Save the Children, and it's all going down right here on the GMM channel. That's next Thursday, noon to 8 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific. Don't miss it! And now, please, bow your heads. Dearly beloved, we have gathered here today to recognize snacks that were once in production but are now discontinued. Some of them might not have been good in the first place or they were limited editions, or the company who makes them no longer exists, and that's okay. The important thing is that the snacks tried their best. Why did you leave us so soon? I guess we'll have to eat you and find out. It's time for To Be Discontinued More, 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 More Snacks Edition. Now before we try our first official discontinued snack, there mm -hmm. is a wooden chocolate bar shaped elephant in the room that we just <laughs> gotta address. Yeah, there is. Okay. In our last episode of Discontinued Snacks, we were fixing to try some 1979 Mickey Mouse Heath bars that we got on eBay. But it turns out, where there should have been chocolate, there was wood. Look, we have been pranked. We've been freaking pranked. We on, paid look, $30 look, 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 for this. It is wood. They, in Cartersville, they took the chocolate out, they put wood in there. <laughs> and what, seriously, you can't, it's wood. It's wood, <laughs> it's not a joke. It's wood. It is wood. It doesn't take much to amaze those idiots, does it? <laughs> it's wood. <laughs> okay, so I, I was following this story in real Closely. time as the episode came out, and apparently, not only in the comments below, but in the inbox of the eBay seller, him or herself, yeah. um, a lot of mythical beasts just started bombarding this seller. Yeah. Uh, with with complaints, relaying our astonishment in being duped. Right. And right. we got a reply back, which says, hey, Nicole, because Nicole is the one who bought this stuff. Someone sent a video of the GMM show where hey. this product was open. I am so very sorry. My dad was a Mickey Mouse collector with thousands of items in his collection. He was also a woodworker, but I had no idea that he replaced the chocolate with wood. The packages looked like they hadn't been opened. I agree, and I had no idea it had been replaced. I'll be happy to issue a refund. I sincerely apologize for the mistake. I feel like we've uncovered like a dark family secret. It's like when you find out something crazy on 23andMe. <laughs> <You know, laughs> right. It's like, ah, oh, he's not my father. My father was a woodworker who was- A chocolate- Was putting in wood for fake the chocolate. chocolate. Fake chocolate wood. I hope we haven't like upset the apple cart. Well, I, I think the seller was was in the dark just like we were, but I was reading a lot of comments that were saying, guys, people remove perishable items from things- All in, the time. In, in order to make, because the packaging is what is collectible. Right, not if you're us though. Um, we wanna eat it. <laughs> so we replied- it's wood! I mean, we replied and said, hey, don't worry about it. I know we seem pretty upset on the show, but uh, we're actually cool with it. And then we got a reply back that said, I'm very thrilled that you guys are taking it well. I felt sick to my stomach ever since I first heard about this first thing this morning. Well, I'm shipping you the other stuff this afternoon. P.S. My eBay notifications have never, ever been so active as they have been today. So we uh, we, we kind of we unleashed put, hell on Kernersville. Put this person through the ringer. Sorry about that. And he didn't even know but here's the stuff that we got uh, now. We got a Mickey Mouse milk chocolate bar and a To You milk chocolate heart. And now we're gonna play a new game that we call, Is It Wood? Is It Wood? Is It Wood? All right. Look, we should go with the, with Let's start the with bar this because, because this is familiar territory. Does it feel like wood? It's kind of It like... feels pretty much like wood. I mean, he wasn't just a woodworker. He was, oh, well, he didn't do a good job on this one. 
What is it? Is oh, it wood? This one's clearly. Is clearly. it wood? Oh, it's a ruler. <laughs> I mean, this is like early days. This is like before wow. he perfected how to seal it back up yes. and was like, maybe I should like make the wood shape like the candy bar. It's literally a ruler and a uh, a paint stirring can I touch stick. It? Can I touch it? What? No, no, I it, touch I'm it? touching it. I know you're touching it. Can I also touch you it? You can also touch it. Yeah. So it's a it's a ruler it's with, a, with a paint stick glued next to it, which I, is not as good as what he you ended know what up I think graduating to. I think he was like, I'm gonna measure how long it needs to be so that I can then yeah. craft wood. And he's like, you know what, screw it. I'll use the measuring stick as the chocolate. And he talks just like that. Now, now if, if he can make, the packaging is what's important. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. packaging is what people value. It's a, it's a collectible. There we go. Now, if he made a wooden heart, he Wouldn't did. that be like something from Wizard of Oz? <laughs> what, what, what was, what was it? I, I, it was, it was, it was all symbolic. Yes, I think this is maybe, yeah. I think it's it, wood. <laughs> it's wood. It's wood. Now, hey, but now this, we're happy about it this, being wood. But this, right? that's good wood. Can I touch? Look at that. Can I touch it? That's super smooth. Can I touch it? That's. You know what? You can have all of it, Link. You can touch it's it as much light. as you want to. You can it's touch your light. wood. Get alone in your room and touch your wood all you want. All right, that is. Okay, I'm happy that is wood. Our first official discontinued snack today, now that we have cleared up that controversy, is Pumpkin Spice Spam from 2019. The big piece of information for me here is that spam goes bad. I mean, this is bad news for all those people who've got their bunkers just full of spam. And they don't want you tasting it in the zombie apocalypse. Bring out a plate. Oh, but you know what? That's a 2022. It, it, so this is so not this is, So this is still good. But the snack was discontinued the moment it was released. Yeah, because it was a marketing thing. So I think we have to kind but of- But it sold out from their website and Walmart in seven hours. I don't know if they Sometimes put one in- Sometimes that's all it takes. A Walmart? It's rain and spam juice. All right, I'm gonna get you a nice now, you, slice. Now, you, you're open to, to spam. Well, you know what? It recommends putting this type of spam on waffles. I'm actually not a spam man. I had a lot of processed waffles. meat in my day, and my family was pretty big on the Vienna sausage and the Penrose sausage. It still just smells like spam. Do you smell any pumpkin spice? Dink it, sink it. Yeah, oh yeah, I can smell it. It's not a pleasant I feel like consistency. The, I feel like the pumpkin spice, it helps. Helps it. It does help it. But it, I'm not gonna put it on waffles, I'm not crazy. Uh, it, it's a lot stronger in a non undetermined meat kind of a way. Well, this if you is, were this advising, is the best spam I've ever eaten, is what I'm trying to tell you. If you were advising Hormel from- I'm taking another bite. From a marketing standpoint. Yeah, I am. I think, on the side. Th I think that this there's a clear answer here. You gotta bring this back every year, every year for you know seven hours. You know what? Oh, more more products should do that. They should make a pumpkin spice latte. This lady, you know, limit, you know, limit spam, your time. One hundred percent. Bring it back. All right, we got a box of Farley's fruit snacks right here that were released in conjunction with Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace back in nineteen ninety nine. Now remember, the the important part is the packaging. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta open that up. All right, so we paid twelve dollars for these twenty-two-year-old fruit snacks, themed with Star Wars. I mean, that's a, that's a big deal for Farley's. Just like the Farley's that we had at my house. You remember those that my mom always had? They come in the individual pack, just I, like this. I really do. My favorite fruit snacks were Farley's. They weren't so hard. They were soft, soft and mushy, so and really, soft. they were like glistening. So do you think? Oh gosh, these are not soft and I don't know no. if they ever were. Now, the challenge link is, I challenge you to get through this, and me to get through this, no Jar Jar Binks jokes, okay? Misa up for the challenge. Oh gosh. Now, all of these are purple, which is one of my favorite flavors, except for this. But here's the thing. This green. The green held mm. its held its color. Uh, is that Qui-Gon? Because it's basically, you can see through it. Oh this goodness. is every other color turned brown. Cause that's that was originally a red, yeah, that was right. originally an orange. And just to confirm that, let's open it up another one. Opening up. Opening up another one. So this is like the, the fake Queen Amidala's head. Not the real Amidala, the fake Amidala. Yeah, that's what happened. 22 years old. This is like taking a bite out of Trevor. <laughs> Do you think you taste better than these? 
Here's, here's one. I don't care to comment. <laughs> Here, I didn't mean to throw it that hard. There you go. Okay. Now, what, what one let's you taste this thing. What one you gonna eat? Qu this is Qui-Gon. Oh, I got Qui-Gon as well. Yeah, he's gonna die. Spoiler alert. Let, and then after he dies, let's just meditate. Oh, goodness. Oh, gosh, that's hard. I mean, this is not the Farley's I've come to expect. Okay, I'm getting some flavor. I can't even bite through it. It's more like Star Wars jerky, which that could be a thing. I don't think I taste better than them, but I think I have a better texture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, is, this is horrible. It, the taste is pretty good, though. What? The taste is horrible. Really? I'll, I'll try another one. Did you actually get a bite of it? I can't get through it. Yeah, see, I, you, got, you got to release the flavor. Now, these, I don't know how you're doing it. I've got good teeth. I don't know how you're getting to the flavor. <clears throat> I, I cannot do it. Here, full on that. Get a, get a, get a good grip on it. Like, <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh, I pulled out a white beard hair. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, right. my, it was gross. Can you see that? Yeah. I pulled out a beard Well, you hair. got the full follicle. Did it hurt? Man, I don't feel pain when I'm eating gummies. So, let's not bring it back, but let's bring back the Farleys in general. Bring back the Farleys. So, episode one. Nah, that's whack. You may have noticed my t-shirt. I'm pretty excited about this. This is an official collab between us and the Masters of the Universe. Yeah, we did it, it Link. The Masters of the Mythical Universe merch. So you can go to mythical.com and get this for a limited time. It comes in black, it comes in purple. You got he Rat and Skelelink mastering a high five. They're becoming friends. Like they he never Rat. did. Ah, ha, ha. That's why we made you Skeletor. Yeah, the voice. very nice. So get one at mythical.com. All right, now wooden candy bars. Not the only surprise element from last time we did this. And if you're not up to speed, it seems that we are in the midst of a little bit of a spat with bearded baseball Hall of Famer, Wade Boggs. Mm -hmm. Because last time after he caught wind that his discontinued candy bar from 1990 has become our official gold standard for stink, he sent us a video taking us to task and we showed <sighs> that uh, on that last episode. But listen, we, we want to bury the hatchet if we can. Right. We are entirely open to the fact that the Boggs smell, which Ooh. is real strong. It's really nasty. Yeah. Only it, getting stronger. Maybe it's not uh, Wade's fault at all. Yeah. Maybe it's just a baseball thing. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, I mean, it's definitely not an expired thing. So we're like, all right, if there's another baseball player that's got his own candy bar, let's see if it stinks too. So let's bring Albert Bell to the party. Uh, he is a baseball player. Yes. They come in a fancy. Box. Very, very fancy. Oh, oh, we, we go. got six. Look at this. You got a bar and I got a bar. Okay, there's a few things to note about Albert Bell as you get that thing out and ready to go, Link. One dollar. Oh, it's got crisp rice in it. Uh, first of all, bar. they did play against each other. Wade Boggs and Albert Bell had some career crossover, and in fact, during a Cleveland Indians versus the Yankees game on September 4th, 1993, Yankees third baseman Wade Boggs made a diving stop to rob Albert Bell of a hit in the seventh inning of Jen Abbott's no-hitter. You so, don't say. So Wade Boggs ruined Albert Bell's day. And also, there's a few things that we found out about Albert Bell. He was suspended. Let me ruin your day. Woo, that's got some bogs to it. Suspended in 1994 for using a corked bat. In, well, in 1990, he threw a baseball into the stands where it struck a fan who was taunting him. And then, I think oh. this may have been after his baseball days, uh, there were some trick-or-treating vandals who were getting kind of rowdy celebrating Halloween by throwing eggs at Albert's home, Ooh. and he chased them down and ended up bumping one of them with his car. I don't know all the details, but I know you don't mess with Albert, so you know what, don't that bar smells bell's bell. great. That bar smells great, Ooh, it's Albert. a good smelling bar. Woo-wee. Oh, is me, there cork in this thing? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna open up another one. Uh, we may it, have to bite into this thing because it's so good. All right, so it, you can see the crispiness. Oh, it's not wood. I can't open it, my hands. Here, just take half of that. this. You know what? I mean, this is 1995, that's 1990. That's a five year difference. I mean, first of all, I think what we've established is that if you are a baseball player and you make a bar, it's gonna stink. I mean, the Boggs bar is just peeking out. Whoa, yeah, that's a little bit of Boggs and a lot of bit of stink. I don't like that, but boy, it still doesn't stink like a Boggs bar. <laughs> Guys, I, I, I have to interrupt you. I have to um, tell you that. Kick it. The saga of Boggs continues because we actually got 
another video from him. Uh, what? Link, Rhett, it's a baseball hall of famer, Wade Boggs. You guys smell. You big smelly guys. Rhett, you smell. Link, you smell. <laughs> it smells like Link. <laughs> Wow, he Brand new all video? that trouble to send another video. He he saw our show and said, I'm gonna make a new video. A new video. Yeah. Totally right. fresh. With a real clear message. Yeah. You know, you guys smell like Link. It, is everything that Boggs does like a a little stale? Uh hey, come on now. Oh. Hey, come on. That was that, I, I like the editing in that one. That totally different video. <laughs> uh I gotta say that I just I think there's now, the Boggs Bar wins in the stink category. But what about the, taste? But the, uh, I'm not gonna taste it. I'm not willing to do that. Uh, I'll let you be the guinea pig. It, it tastes a lot better than it smells. Um, there's no reason for this to come back. I don't know if we need to bring any more attention to Albert Bell at this point. Nope, I agree. The Albert Bell Ball, <laughs> bar. Nah, that's why. Back in the 50s and 60s, there was a penny candy lipstick that claimed to turn your lips red just like actual lipstick. And is this what we need in our lives now? Well, this one's over 50 years old, so probably not. All right. Because they didn't even come up with expiration dates. It wasn't a common thing until the 70s, so these have no expiration date. So we're saying minimum 50 years. I mean, it doesn't really look like lipstick as much as like a, it's a rolled up. It looks like a Tootsie Roll machine made it. Can you bring those in? So we don't wanna, we might not need to bring it back because Swizzle's Love Hearts lipstick exists now. And there's different flavors. You see this one, how does it work? Look, this is not lipstick. This is a piece of sidewalk chalk that you can eat. What? Okay, that's like a sweet tart. And you put that on your lips. Nothing happens. Like, is, are my no. lips, are my lips changing color? It's not. It's not functional. Even if I wet it, it's not a functional product. Now I'm having to open this backwards because this shouldn't be a thing. Why was this ever a thing? What was the marketing behind this 50 years ago? We got to teach the girls to eat their lipstick from an early age. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, I've eaten enough like, lipstick to know that is a bad idea. So yeah, it's um, it's very counterintuitive. Maybe you could get a little bit of moisture on there. We're gonna rehydrate it. Mm hmm And then put it on your lip. I know if I get one <laughs> from Stevie, I've done, I've accomplished something, if nothing else. It does turn red. Will it turn my What does it red? taste? Oh. It's horrible tasting. Oh. Stevie, can you tell? Am I am my lips getting red? Uh, a little bit, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You Brett's like you got a, a redder. Lip, a lip gloss. But he did that weird, gross licking thing for a very long time. Oh, I, I, hold on! I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting something here. It is. Yeah, yeah. It's a lip gloss. I actually like the look on you. I think my lips are turning red because you're it's, getting irritated. It's so rough <laughs> that I'm actually scraping my. Irritate lip. your lips a little bit. So for, first, I think of there's all, something in those. First of all, the Love Hearts lipstick that's currently in circulation should go away. Yeah, we need to discontinue so, so this So that now. that is nothing but a disappointment. Yeah. So we're getting rid of that. So candy lipstick, nah, that is whack. So the only thing that we decided to bring back today was pumpkin spice spam. That's the kind of day we're having. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have predicted it, uh, but I don't regret it. Right. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Forrest. And I'm Vignette. We're out here in Palmer Park, Colorado Springs, repping the boys, and it's time <laughs> to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Woo! Forrest and Vignette, repping the boys. Yeah, that's what we like to see. <laughs> Click the top link to discover some of the weirdest movie-inspired snacks ever in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. By the power of mythicality, we have the power! Get your Masters of the Mythical Universe tea now at mythical.com.